Well, obviously we're not in front of the wood pile that we made famous last fall, but we hope to make this place equally as famous. Uh, welcome to the University of HD Radio. I have my associate professor here with me today, Kelly Jarvis, who is a marketing person for uh, Ibiquity, which is the company that actually created the technology of HD Radio. And all this is here because we're going to make the John Regan Show even a better listen than it was before. So, Kelly, let's get started. And I think people probably want to know, I mean, everywhere I go and tell them, well, we're on WTOP HD3, they ask me, well, I've heard about HD Radio, or some people haven't even heard about HD Radio. Tell us what it is. Well, John, HD Radio is simply the upgraded digital version of your AM FM radio. So instead of getting an analog signal, you're going to get it in digital. Now, the digital technology gives you many benefits. The first being, obviously, digital sound, so it sounds better. Um, and then data information across the screen, which means that when you're listening to a song or the John Reagan Show, it'll tell you what you're listening to. Song, artist, John Reagan Show, hosts, all those kind of things. Um, but the third and obviously most important benefit is this option for additional channels. What the digital technology gives you is these radio stations across the country, including WTOP, the opportunity to broadcast new and different unique formats on those HD2, HD3, and HD4 channels. In Washington, D.C., what you're looking at is taking what would be 22 HD radio stations and turning it into actually 41 with 18 new different opportunities to listen to radio. So if uh, I'm a, a consumer and uh, I know that the John Riggin Show is getting ready to launch on HD3 with WTOP um, and I don't have an HD receiver, what do I need to do? Well, it's pretty simple nowadays because we have 14,000 retailers across the country that are carrying HD radio receivers and there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. Basically, any way you could get a radio regularly, you can get one that has HD radio technology installed. So uh, we're looking at brand new cars, mm -hmm. um, aftermarket car receivers made by people like Sony, JVC, etc. Um, portable receivers, which we have some here to show you, and tabletop, like your normal radio you put on your desk. Now, and the one thing that people need to know is that it's a one-time buy, regardless of what level you get in at. Uh, you can certainly get the system that's integrated into your sound system at home or your home entertainment system. You can get a tabletop system at home. That kind of knocks that part out of your automobile. Basically, same type of deal, an app that you can put into your existing radio or get a completely new radio. Absolutely. And then, of course, you've got your personal devices, which you've got smartphone applications, mm -hmm. and then you actually have the actual HD receivers themselves that you can carry around. But it's a one-time expense. After you put the money up for this, there's no monthly fee. Absolutely. It's 100% free, just like AM FM radio. It's just better quality, and it's just a one-time upgrade. So show us some of the things that you have here. Sure. Uh, well, the smallest and most inexpensive way to get HD radio at this time is called the Insignia HD radio portable player, available at Best Buy. Fantastic little device. Um, it's simply a radio. Uh, so as you take a look. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, we also have uh, HD Radio Technology Standard in the Zune HD. So if you like the Zune product, turn it on for you here. Uh, Microsoft makes this Zune HD. It's available in various retailers across the country. And then we also have a fantastic adapter for the iPod Touch and the iPhone uh, made by Gigaware, which is actually a Radio Shack uh, brand. So walk into any Radio Shack across the country, you get this little guy, and you get this app free on the iTunes store. Well, I think in closing, Kelly, I, what looks to me like is if somebody wants to to start exploring the other channels that HD Radio is providing with their local stations, mm -hmm. they've got the, the option to pick up a personal device that they can either apply to their phone or something, a receiver that they can carry around. They've got their home applications they can use, whether it be something in their sound system or, or home entertainment center. And, and of course they've got their tabletop applications and then of course the automobile basically same thing. You can replace the radio in your car if you wish, probably obviously a more expensive uh, I would say transition or you can get I would take uh, something that will adjust to the radio and you mm -hmm. can get everything in HD radio. Yeah, cars and, are a little more complicated because yeah. depending on what car you model. have it's going to make a, a difference but HDRadio.com has everything you could ever want to know about HD radio. You can go and find out what kind of car uh, you can buy that has brand new HD radio in it. Yay! Uh, well, standard. I'm sure that the Obama administration would like to see the auto industry get <laughs> yes, kicked wouldn't up that a little be good? bit. So, if that's your excuse for buying one, then so be it. We're <laughs> out behind it. But uh, that's pretty much on HD radio. Remember, 
The John Regan Show can be heard on WTOP 103.5 HD3 uh, HD Radio. Talk better than that. Kelly, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. My pleasure.